I'm Michelle Stanley, and I'm the Associate Professor of Flute at Colorado State University. And I'm Kayla Bellamy, and I'm a new Assistant Professor of Bassoon at Colorado State University. And then connect, advanced. I'll do it myself. <laughs> And then if we go into the Zoom chat, wonderful. So just a little demo of what all these things sound like. You have the earbuds in. I don't hear the echo. this so there's a terrible sound that can happen and I I don't know if I fixed that or if it was coincidental I assumed that I did I, mean, I plugged in the earbuds I yeah okay let me try plugging in so the, echo, so the echo if somebody's not plugged in if we're both not plugged in apparently that's really bad can you hear me okay now yeah it's so echoey it's still echoey yeah. Okay, so we also have not muted Zoom yet. So you have to go to Zoom and mute your audio That's on right. Zoom. Yeah, oh, I should mute. How's that? That's wonderful. Does that sound better? Okay, yeah, we just had a <laughs> fatal flaw. <laughs> <laughs> Take a minute, let the pulse come back in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've learned so much today. Thanks for joining Michelle and Kayla's <laughs> excellent adventures in horrible sounds. <laughs> Mute your Zoom before you go to clean feed. Mute, that's Please. like, that's a big one. <laughs> All right, are you gonna count us off? No, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cue you like we're chamber okay. positions or something. Okay. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, try it again. Maybe not. Maybe I just, maybe I just suck at clapping. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It was pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty bad. <laughs> I'm better with my visual, flute. Right? I know. Okay. So with the visual, oh, if we're that's like, pretty good. Oh, it came through together for you. Yeah. Oh, I'm curious to see what this recording is like because it was like half a second. Like, yeah, maybe not even for me. One more okay. time. Okay. It might just be if we actually if I count off and we're not watching each other on the video because there can yeah. be delay there too. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, not really a whole lot better but if we actually like if we're not watching the video yeah and just listening yeah through the audio i'll just okay. start clapping a tempo and see if we can align okay. that mm, not together on I'm, my end yeah it's very close on my end okay it's better than zoom okay I would say, I mean, it's better than Zoom. I still don't, wouldn't call it functional. Not for chamber music playing, no. Yeah. and I. But it's say, helpful for just teaching. There's not that weird, awkward delay. There's not a huge delay. So it would be a lot more, I think, a lot more effective for modeling. Yeah. And not quite the, what usually ends up happening, at least in my lessons, is a student's playing something and I want to say something and I have to, like, flap at them for 30 seconds yeah. before. Yeah, yeah. Yours is, yours is coming oh, through your it? headphones now. Yeah. So it's if you want to change that in. Oh yeah, that's right. In clean feed. Let's see here. Your little gear. Yeah, that's right. And I only noticed that because when you touched it, I could, I could hear. That's the... true. I completely forgot about. Here we go. I'm now on Blue Snowball. That is a huge difference. Yep, that's a big difference. I doubt so, that's going to fix any of the latency things, but it's a big no. sound quality difference. Yeah, so if a student has the blue sound, 
the snowball, you'll know exactly. But if they, if they don't have that, you just plug in earbuds. Mm -hmm. it, it, I truly like, um, even the Zoom things, that, the disabling and turn on original sound did yeah. nothing for a lousy old PC laptop. So um, as soon as a student was getting in the high range, the sound just went to nothing. Mm -hmm. Even when he was speaking, if he spoke really loudly, the sound disappeared. And as soon as he put these in, it was fine. Yeah. And you and got a lot softer when you activated the snowball. And what's actually interesting, I'll show you the, the screen again. Yeah. Um, I can see what microphone you're on. Yep. That's right. And so this blue snowball it. I thought about has, really messing with you and changing your microphone. Oh, that wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> Here is this. There's three settings in the black back of the snowball. I've never really mastered this. I just know that if I do, let's see. So the three settings that. for anybody who's not used to using a snowball, it's just a, a an indexed gain. Basically, there's level right. one, two, or three for volume. So this is volume three on the back of the snowball. This is volume two or setting two on the back of the snowball, and this is setting one on the back of the snowball. And you said you usually use one, is that right? Two. You usually use two? Yeah. Which is a little bit quieter than one. It seems counterintuitive to me that it would I be. I ha that's why I've never been able to crack the code about what those actually mean. I found with a lot of them, because it's picking up, the big difference for me is that the microphone's farther away. Uh -huh. The gain is just turning up the, the basically the sensitivity for everything. Yeah. So it turns up the volume, but it also, I think mine is set on two right now. Uh, let me charge it down. If I change it to one, so this is on two. This is what it sounds like on one. Do you have a lot more background noise? And then if I go down to three, this is what it sounds like on three. Go back to two. And two is right here. That's so much better than anything. Yeah, and I'm, well, you saw how much, how far I had to lean, so I'm probably. Yeah. And so this is actually, I should move Not quite social away. distanced from my microphone, but <laughs> almost. Yeah, and I, what do I have this on right now? Um, it sounds pretty quiet to me. It sounds, how is this? Is this any, any better? Yeah, that's better. You like this one, okay. Was that the, the game That's setting? number, yeah, that's number one. I Who must knows? just be a, a really loud person. Want me to play a drone for you and you play yep. something on the top of it? What key? Yep. Oh, I mean, ours is chromatic typically. Just play, uh, why don't you just play a, m m m m a G. Okay. And I'll just move around. is the main reason that I would want to play yeah. with somebody in a virtual yeah. lesson. So I think my, my official verdict is this is, would not be functional for a chamber rehearsal. It's not close enough. I don't think so. Um, but it allows for playing together for collaborating in like yeah. intonation studies. You could put a woodwind yeah. quintet in here and do multi-track and actually do yeah. like some corrals would be okay yeah I think the just the quality of sound is better too so but you know uh, yeah I, I don't know if you could do a, I don't I don't feel like you could do a chamber rehearsal but you know what I think it's worth trying mm-hmm and so much of it is dependent on internet that's right <laughs>